10 simple ways to stay chic while layering. Good morning. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style, and now natural hair care and hair care topics. If you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So let's get straight into it. I think sometimes we tend to overcomplicate this concept when it comes to layering. The idea when it comes to layering, of course, is to be chic and it is of course to be warm, but also we want to add character and we want to add depth to the outfit without looking bulky or adding a bulk. So first, I do have 10 tips, but let's get into some of the basic layering pieces. The first one that we have is a vest, whether that is a button up or a button down vest, whether it is a pullover or if it is a puffer. The quilted and the puffers become very popular, especially here in the Carolinas. The next one is going to be a scarf. Super simple, it can be skinny, it can be large, or it can be oversized. The next one is going to be a belt. I will explain this one more. After that is going to be a pair of socks. And then we have cardigans and shells. We have the ones that are open, we have the ones that have buttons, we have the ones that have pockets, and we have our pullovers. After that is going to be a button up, an Oxford shirt, however you refer to it. And then we have tights. They can be opaque or they can be sheer. And then lastly, we have shells. If you have been a part of my community, when I say shell, I'm talking about the base layer. It's very form fitting to the body and it add warmth. So it can either be long sleeve, three quarter sleeves, or it can be a shell, or if you typically get hot, it can be a spaghetti strap. Okay, so now that we have our basic layers, let's go ahead and go through some examples and let's go ahead and go through some of the tips. I want you to keep those basic layers in mind because for each example and for each tip, we're going to use one of them. So the very first tip that I have for you, especially if you are not a maximalist, is to keep it simple. Some people refer to this as kiss. Like I said earlier, I think sometimes we tend to overthink this, but I wanna give you the most basic example. Let's take the Canadian tuxedo. If you are not aware of what a Canadian tuxedo is, it's just basically jean on jean. Your top is jean, your bottom is jean. So keep your jeans on, keep your bottoms on as the jeans. Take that jean top, you unbutton it, and you put on a shell under it. That is a layer. You, have, you now have a layered look and you have a little bit of warmth added. So if you want even more warmth, you can once again open the jean shirt and add a turtleneck. That will keep your neck warm and it will keep the rest of you warm. Now, you can do one of two things when it comes to the turtleneck. You can leave the jean open, the jean shirt open, and just do it like that. Or you can actually tuck in, keep in mind we still have on the turtleneck, we still have on our layer, or you can tuck it in. And that is going to segue us into the second tip, which is going to be add a turtleneck or add a button up. I will give you the perfect example when it comes to a turtleneck. So the turtleneck is going to be your base layer. Then you're going to add a pair of dark wash jeans. Then you are going to add a pair of boots or combat boots, ankle boots, ballet flats, or even a pair of tennis shoes. And then for your layer, you are going to throw on a vest. I know what's really popular right now, especially when you look at J. Crew, or when you're talking about a chic or a classic outfit, is going to be that quilted vest. Super simple, super easy. You will look put together. And you can do the exact same thing with a button up. And if you are looking for extra warmth, you can put on a shell under the button up and then you throw on that vest. The third tip is to check the weight of your sweaters. What do I mean by that? What has become really popular these past couple of years is the tissue top, whether it's just a shell or if it is a tissue top that has a turtleneck or is a turtleneck. When I say check the weight of your sweaters, what I mean is let's start with the base layer. It can even be something like this. Let's start with a tissue top that just so happens to be a turtleneck. If you are looking for a layer, you're going to put over that. It can be a pullover or it can be a cardigan. It's going to be a bigger, chunkier sweater. You want to make sure that if you're going to have on a tight top or a tissue top, that the layer that you put on over it is going to be bigger, is going to be chunkier. That will give your outfit some depth, it will give it some character. We want to make sure that if you're putting on a tissue top that you are not putting on a tight top 
over that you're going to look stuffed and you're going to look you're going to have that bulky feeling and it's also going to look ill-fitting as well so if you keep your base layer close to the skin if it's a tissue top and then you throw on a pullover or a open cardigan it will look better tip number four is to add texture you guys know i always give this tip when it comes to monochrome dressing but it is going to follow suit when it comes to layering and again we're doing these simple these are simple additions that will give some depth to your outfit so you won't won't look bulky and so you will continue to look chic while you are layering something as simple as let's say you have an outfit let's say you have a solid gray top let's say you have a solid gray bottom simply adding a cognac bag or simply adding a cognac belt because those are layers they are adding depth to your outfit but let's stick with the belt simply adding let's say a cognac belt that is snakeskin or that is embossed snakeskin is going to add depth to the outfit. It's going to give a focal point. The next one is going to be something as simple as adding a textured sweater or a cardigan. So let's say for instance you have, let's bring it back to that turtleneck or that tissue top. Let's say it's solid, there is no texture. What you're going to do is you're going to add a pullover or you're going to add a cardigan that has texture. I will give you the perfect example. You guys know my Ula Johnson dress. Of course, I'm not going to put anything under it or the point of that dress is not to layer, but I'm talking about the texture. It has the cable and it has the little puff balls on it. All you had to do, just think of that as being, let's say a cropped cardigan, put on a solid white tissue sweater or tissue top, and then put that on as a cardigan. And there you go. So let's go ahead and finish that outfit. You have on the tissue top, then you have on the textured sweater. You can even do a textured belt. You're going to put on a pair of dark wash jeans, and then you are going to do either a combat boot, a riding boot, or a tennis shoe. Tip number five is going to be play with proportions. I have two examples for you. So the very first one again is we're still thinking simple. The very first one again, let's bring it back to the tissue turtleneck. It's going to be solid. And then we are going to put over that a crew neck sweater. Remember, it's going to be looser. That proportion is going to give your outfit some depth. It's going to give your outfit some proportions. You have on the large or the chunky crew neck sweater and then peeking out, you have a piece of fabric or you have the turtleneck. It would be the exact same thing with the bottom, right? If you have on, let's say, a pair of shorts or paper bag shorts and you add a pair of tights, and it can even be leopard print, it can be sparkly, you can have some type of design. You are adding depth to your outfit, but you have also added a layer. This tip number six is going to be for my maximalist. This is not typically something that a minimalist would do, but add another layer under your skirt or under your dress. This is the perfect example right here. Also, the other example that I can give you, you guys know that I do not wear pants, but you guys know that I absolutely love my white maxi dress with the hole at the back. All somebody would have to do is just open that probably up to about right here, or maybe like a little bit lower, and then just add their favorite pair of pants. Get a bag, get some earrings, and then get some shoes, probably some boots, and then you're out the door. You have added texture and you have added depth to your outfit without adding bulk. Tip number seven is going to be add a shirt over or under your favorite summer dress. I love this because it can extend the life of your closet or it, it can extend the life of your pieces. You guys see the outfit that I'm giving right here. You guys know that I absolutely love maxi dresses for summer. You guys also know that I absolutely love white. I don't necessarily have to put this away because this is a heavier dress and it has a lot of material, but all I have to do to bring this into fall or early fall or to transition it is just to simply put on a top over it, belt it, and that's it. The next tip, tip number eight, is going to be a jacket on jacket. And typically you will see someone do this again. Let's start with the base layer. Let's say they can either have on like a shell, so it's gonna be long sleeve, or they have on a turtleneck. They will throw on a blazer and then they will throw on their outer coat. You will typically see this with the fashion girlies. I think it looks so chic because typically they will put on their base layer, they will throw on the blazer, and then they will throw the actual coat or oversized coat 
over their shoulders for again it's not going to look bulky because remember we have the right proportions and we are paying attention to the weight of our clothing but it is going to add a little bit of depth to the outfit number nine now let's talk about layering your accessories and let's do a very simple one because like i said i think sometimes we tend to overthink this but take out your favorite pair of loafers your favorite pair of jeans and add some socks you'd be surprised at how chic that actually looks. The second one is going to be a scarf. So let's take that outfit that we talked about in the beginning with the quilted vest, and we're going to add a second layer. So remember, our base layer is going to be the turtleneck. We're going to put on our dark wash jeans. Then we're going to put on our riding boots. The first layer, remember, is that quilted or that puffer vest. And then to add a second layer, we're going to add a scarf. Something simple like that, again, we're not adding bulk, but we are we are adding even more depth to the outfit. And the last one is going to be simply adding a belt. Remember, we're doing simple ways to add layering. You guys know that I absolutely love this rust dress from Shona Joy. Yes, it is linen, but I love the flowiness of it, and that's the reason why I still continue to wear it during the warmer months. But simply adding a darker belt cinching in the waist and then adding a pair of boots will give the look of fall or will give a fall aesthetic simple things like this to make sure that we are prolonging the pieces in our closet and to make sure that we are adding depth to our outfits but not bulk and then the last tip that I have for you, tip number 10, is to have fun with it. Your layering is going to look different based on your aesthetic. For someone like me who would consider themselves to be a classic dresser, me simply putting on a pencil skirt with a button up and a vest, that is my first layer, and then adding a belt, that could be considered my second layer, and then throwing on my coat, that could be my third layer. Remember, whenever I give you these tips, make sure that you are keeping it within your aesthetic. Your layers or your basic layering pieces might look different than mine. These are just things for you to take home, and this is just a reference point. I do wanna give you a bonus tip. If you ever want to be a maximalist or if you ever want to just have some inspiration, I would highly suggest that you check out our fashionistas who are hijabis. They have been layering since forever because that is a part of their religion. They need to be covered, right? And they do it respectfully, but I also think that they do it so beautifully and they do it in so many creative ways. They are always coming up with how to layer, whether it be for fall or whether it be for summer, okay? So those are all the tips that I have for you. I just wanna remind you here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And of course, right here or right here, I'll put my Instagram handle. And remember ladies, to dress with simplicity to make a lasting impression. Bye. We always have it coming.